it's been a minute since I've had a Twizzler, but I do like them a lot. So Twizzler is licorice. It's firm, it's a little stretchy. It has this shiny appearance. This is the classic. So it comes in these sort of lengths of rope with this kind of twisted texture on the outside, but it does kind of have a flat surface on the bottom. And also it's hollow on the inside. If you, when you were a kid, did what, did what I used to do, which is like cut off the two ends and try to drink soda through the Twizzler as a straw, we know that it's hollow. I really like these. It doesn't have a distinct flavor of any particular fruit, although I think it is cherry. That's, this is strawberry? It does not really taste like strawberry. I'm gonna taste the black licorice. Right, this is the original. It's good. That just like intense herbal flavor of the anise kind of balances out like the sugar. I just love how chewy they are. I love the pull and peel. I just like love playing with my food and doing, and doing that. It's so good, I love it. This one's creamsicle, orange creamsicle. This one appears to be filled, you can see that. I don't particularly like this one. I think we have to start with like the 1.0 version and stick with the classic. I'm gonna start with attempting red. Gabby, yeah. what is it about the texture that we have to aim for? I wish it was more together, like softer. Like it stayed in one piece as you right. shoot it. It has to be hollow, right? Yeah. The soda, no, the soda. don't yes. say that. Yes, I don't want it to have to be, have to be hollow. It has to be. It has to have those little crimped pinches at the end. Yeah. Crucial. Okay. It's gotta be hollow inside. Everyone keeps saying that. Well, hello. You're eating pizza, you got a can of Coke, or you got a Twizzler, you got a straw. You never like, did that? I'm just gonna pretend like no one's saying hollow, because I don't know about that. Most important, they have to be hollow. <laughs> There's one person I think who loves Twizzlers more than anyone, and that's my mom. Hi, mom. Wait, oh my What's that? Oh, I've never you're, seen all those colors. You're on camera, just so you know. What? <laughs> I don't have any I'm gonna try to bring you some Twizzlers. Of, Very good. Of, the wait. of the homemade variety. I love the texture of Twizzlers. It's soft and it's creamy and at the same time it's sugary and it's delicious. Do you think it has to be hollow? No. Okay, good. That was the answer I was looking for. Can't oh. wait to taste it. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Wait, first of all, what was she talking about with that texture? She's like, it's creamy. soft and creamy and it melts in your mouth? I was like, are we talking about the same thing? Time for my favorite part, reading off the ingredients. Corn syrup, enriched wheat flour, flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Sugar, cornstarch, contains 2% or less of palm oil, salt, artificial flavor, mono and diglycerides, citric acid, potassium sorbate, preservative, artificial color, red 40, sulfur dioxide, to maintain freshness, mineral oil, soy lecithin, glycerin. It's a lot of ingredients. You know, the internet's always a good resource, so I wanna go see if there's any recipe videos or any footage from like the Hershey factory of how they're made. I'm gonna take notes. The ingredients are wheat, sugar, and corn syrup with red food dye and... Okay, wheat. There's wheat in it, which is absolutely fascinating. I've never known a candy that had flour in it, so that's super interesting. The sugar mixture, and flour and the flavoring, that's all cooked together initially. It's extruded and then it's cooked again or dehydrated. Twist in every inch, interesting. I have to first focus on what the flavoring will be. First I'll start concentrating fruit juice or puree. I might try a combo of cherry and strawberry. The shape, we do have a pasta extruder that we bought for a previous episode and only used once and it kind of failed. They all got smushed. So I'm gonna get that out and see if there's a shape that would even kind of remotely approximate this twist. I don't have high hopes, but that's that's the point where I'm gonna start. So I'm going to basically use this tart cherry juice to cook down some of the strawberries and I'll strain it. It's good. I'm gonna try to get away from corn syrup. So I'm going to use brown rice syrup, butter, sugar, flour, gel food coloring. Look at the, the color, it's not that far off, right? It's starting to firm up pretty nicely, so I wanna make sure to start extruding it before it gets too hard, but quick taste. I got some issues, but I just wanna try extruding it. I made macaroni. I made macaroni out of licorice. Texture's not right, flavor's not right. What is right? Nothing, nothing is right. It just doesn't really have any kind of noticeable fruit flavor at all. It's too firm but I might have to cook it less, change around the proportions of the ingredients. We'll meet back here tomorrow and try a bunch of different variations.
One thing I will definitely add today is citric acid, which I think will really help bring out a lot of the fruit concentrate that we made yesterday. I have strawberry and, ch and cherry oils. So I'm just gonna add a drop of each. I do wanna experiment with using gelatin to achieve that texture, and I think it could work really well. it's definitely a lot softer than the texture of the Twizzlers. I'm ambivalent about the gelatin. Definitely taste the fruit. Texture-wise, it's not there. Gelatin is not the right texture for Twizzlers, right? No, it's a lot more firm. All right, maybe ditch the gelatin and instead use corn syrup. You know, although it's more processed than brown rice syrup, I just want to try it and see what it does for this. Not working, really. The flour is lumpy, didn't smooth out. I want to cook everything together, none of this adding flour at the end or the gelatin or anything. Ay, 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 it's burning. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and cook everything together except for the flour. While I'm waiting for this mixture to cool, I'm gonna try to pipe these out and kind of see what happens. Give it a little taste. It doesn't taste like Twizzlers, but that's not the point. We're just going. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It really feels like I got nothing done and made no progress. This I rolled out by hand. These I piped. This mixture is quite soft still, so I'm going to put it in the dehydrator just to see what happens overnight. I'm really curious. My mom. She's going to be really mad if I don't. bring her something so I better figure it out so we're gonna check on the two batches that I left overnight these have they're still pretty soft they are even still softer than these so today I'm gonna really try to dial in the firmness and also try to work on shape here's what I'm thinking none of these discs is really the right shape so maybe using like a pastry chip we can kind of MacGyver our own shape it's gonna make me sound like a real nerd I used to do like a lot of wired jewelry making when I was a kid. Those skills are really gonna come in handy. Let's try it. Oh. Oh! Ah! Oh no! Wait, <laughs> stop it. Okay, I busted through the opening. I'm just comforted to know that this whole sequence is gonna be like 20 seconds long in this video because I would be bored. Brad would not approve. Brad would be like, Claire, what are you doing? <laughs> mm, I love jasmine tea. Ooh la la. I think they changed it because this doesn't work. Twizzlers used to be straws when I was a kid. The opening is closed. Doesn't make any sense. Time to go cook that mixture again. Okay, so this time around, maybe just trying the extra flour. Ow. Let's try it. Ah, uh, ooh, ooh. Look, Mom. Look, Mom. Ah, I gotta figure out a better system than, than what is happening now. The color, obviously, from all that added flour is not where it needs to be, so I have to add back in that red food coloring, I think. They're a lot chewier. Well, you know, I tried to drink my iced tea out of one as a straw, and I don't, I think they changed the formula because... It doesn't work? They're, it, they're, like, one side is, like, totally closed. Anyway, here, try, try one of these little nubs. They're, like, too flowery tasting. Oh, sorry. Our director keeps telling me that I just tell people what they should think when they try yeah. something instead of letting them form their own opinion. It has that little chalkiness to it. Yeah. Like the flowery, chalky, like the flavor just seems a tiny bit dull. I want more of like the more extract. Of, more of a, a fruit punch to it. Not fruit punch, okay. but like a fruit punch. That kind of punch. Yeah. I'll consider it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be firmer. But it's not quite there yet. I think what I have to do 
to achieve a firmer texture is cook the sugar a little bit hotter. Cook the flour more, keep it over the heat to try to get rid of some of that starchiness. So we're gonna go for it. If we're, we've gone this far, we might as well go, what is it, take it into the end zone. I called an audible. These are all the things Brad has taught me. We're gonna try to extrude. Ah, give me the pam, give me the pam, give me the pam. Pam, 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 pam. Ooh, oh my God, why, Kevin, why didn't you say what's happening? They, they're looking good. They're still too soft, unfortunately. That flat side right there is kind of similar to what happens on the Twizzlers coming off the conveyor belt. It doesn't kind of spring back the way twiz the Twizzlers do. It's a lot chewier, so I'm happy about that. I have to just cook the sugar hotter. We made some progress today. I feel good about that, and hopefully we'll nail it on Monday. So have a good weekend. See you in five if, you're, if you're watching this on Friday, <laughs> yeah. yeah. See you in five <laughs> Yay! I'm really reinvesting in this project and doubling down because now we have a glue gun. Here's what's happening. This is the piece that comes straight out of the extruder. So I was going to try to hot glue a skewer right down into that notch, feed through the end of that nozzle tip so that whatever's extruded has a hollow center. But I think I'll also have to create a bar going across this place too to kind of stabilize the center so that it's not like off to one side. I can't believe that this is gonna be a video. People will care about this is this whole thing, really. There has to be a better way to do this. Oh, I like this rigging you got going on. Are you making a little drill auger to, <laughs> to drill out the hollowness? What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, we're gonna use layperson terms. Hot glue the skewer to the like turning piece. Like and that. then I made my own die out. So see this piece? I cut into it. It, Drill it. Th this is too big. And but I put this thinner one through it? Yeah. Claire, brilliant. Where is it going to, it can't be on top. First of all, that, we got to drill that. That's no point. Those <laughs> you're going to have dough coming through that. Why don't we drill a hole? The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> We're really pushing on this bamboo, getting very brittle and fibrous. And with a little bit of pressure through that extruding machine, are you paying attention? <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to order lunch. Can you drill through metal? Yeah. Let's, what kind you, of metal? let's use a metal skewer. Don't throw it in your finger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is okay. fun. Oh, I got your finger. Oh, meow. That don't look bad, Claire. Should I try it? Can I? All right, come back in like five minutes. Great, I'll be floating around. Hey, Brad. Yeah. You want to be around for this? Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh, it's looking kind of hollow, Claire. Wait, Brad, oh, yeah. careful. Careful. Look, everything's fine. Relax, I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, snip, snip. And then lay it down. Careful, careful. Snip. You're doing a really good job. No, what are you doing? I don't think you have enough for Okay, all right, we have to immediately soak this because the sugar is going to harden. <laughs> what are you? Don't it's try it yet. It's no, not it's not ready. God. Claire, this long one? Yeah. Brad, don't touch it. <laughs> Here's my only concern. What are your because concerns? it's warm coming out. Yeah. I think the it's gonna like seal gonna up. Close. But I'm not that worried about that because the Twizzler isn't like look at the Twizzler. Well, don't look at that end. But like one of the oh, ends is up. like sealed. Brad, you wanna see this part? No. Yeah. Did you say no? Not bad. Thanks. You even got the nice little braided ridges. Pretty good. Claire, you're brilliant. Oh, thanks, Brad. Thank you. That you have any idea how much that means to me? Yes. This is day four of this. <laughs> <laughs> It already is so much chewier than the last time. Less starchy. Yeah, I'm happier already with the texture. It's getting pretty twizzlery. Yeah. If you get that texture firmed up and has a little bit of that bounce to it, a little bit of chew snap. That waxiness. I think you, you did pretty damn close there, Claire. Great, so I'm going to make one more batch and let these chill in the fridge, and we're going to come back and check in, like, let's say in, like, an hour. This video process. Uh. <laughs> Do you want to try one of the tw homemade Twizzlers? It's a, little, it's a little limp. It's a little soft. <laughs> I feel like the other batch was better. It's you. fruity. Uh-huh. Th this feels wrong. You know? <laughs> are you sure these are the right ones? Should we go down and check out some others? See, don't okay. look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tr this one, these are better. Try these that. Good. Try that. 
But it's still not that chewy, right? Chew, but there's still no hole. Okay, well the, all right. They're never, they're never gonna be hollow. Mm, flavor is amazing. Thank you. The flavor of these is red. Yeah, Because right. it's, it's kind of a mix. And the texture is great too. Thank you, it has a nice chew. And then the ridges, yeah. like did you get out a spaghetti machine? Like a- Oh, Carla. Like a pasta machine? Oh, Carla. We, it was a whole- Is that the hot glue gun? <laughs> yeah. That was involved. Okay. So anyway. Red, chewy, <laughs> delicious wrap. Yeah. So I didn't quite nail this one the way I nailed Oreos, but I learned a lot along the way, had a lot of fun with the hot glue gun. This one's a wrap. It's okay. Four days is our cutoff, says me. Here's how you make a gourmet Twizzler, sort of. Cook down two cups unsweetened 100% cherry juice and one pound fresh hulled halved strawberries in a large saucepan until reduced to one cup of liquid. Strain and let fruit concentrate cool. Sift 100 grams bread flour into a medium bowl, set aside. In a medium saucepan, combine 100 grams sugar, 50 grams corn syrup, a quarter teaspoon each natural cherry and strawberry extracts, and 100 grams fruit concentrate. Cook mixture over medium high heat, stirring to dissolve sugar. Bring to a boil and clip a candy thermometer to the side of the pot. Cook to 240 Fahrenheit, brushing down sides with a wet pastry brush. Immediately add flour, two tablespoons water, and a quarter teaspoon red gel food coloring and whisk vigorously over medium heat until mixture is thick and glossy. Transfer to a greased surface and let cool until mixture is firm to the touch and cold in its shape. Extrude through the pasta attachment of a KitchenAid, sprayed with non-stick cooking oil and fitted with a custom dye and auger. Use a hot glue gun at some point, try to make them hollow, but it might not work. Trim to six inch lengths and place in rows on a rimmed baking sheet lined with greased parchment paper. Twist Twizzlers, lengthening ropes, then trim edges with a bench scraper. Let's sit at room temperature until Set. I'm going home on Friday. I have to bring one to my mom. She's gonna be like, "This is garbage." She's gonna be like, "This does not taste like a Twizzler." You failed me.